Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. This coffee pot monkey bought oh, about a year ago because the, the actual pot in the other one broke. In fact, I think I broke it in the sink or something or dropped it. So we got this over like 10 bucks, I think. So anyway, she went to clean it the other day and she said there's water running out of the bottom. Now, I've had this problem before on these coffee pots. Uh, there's a little rubber hoses inside here. Sometimes they get brittle and they'll crack, whatnot, come off. Um, so we're going to find out if that's the case on this or not. So let's get to that. All right, now what we're going to do is on this one, it looks to be one, two, and one down in there. Three screws. Now these are not Phillips or they're not standard. It's like a three prong thing. But I'm going, I, th I think I can get these out with a straight screwdriver. I've worked on things like this before. I'm just going to use a small uh, standard screwdriver. It's uh, 3 30 seconds. I can get in there I'll get one of these out and I'll show you I'll show you what I mean okay and then there's you know there's these plastic clips on around here that I guess I was wanting to stay in there but let's see what's going on here she poured water in it she said it was water was running everywhere so Sounds to me like one of them hoses have got, because of heat, they get brittle sometimes and they'll crack. I mean, if that's the case, well, you know, you just gotta, you know, sometimes just get a new one as cheap as these things are, you know. Get one of these to come clear out of here and I'll show you the difference in this. Right, there's one. see that this this got like three instead of four so I just take a straight screwdriver and I stick it in there you can get them out and put them back in like that so right. make sure these are yeah loose enough okay all right well anyway on the back here is a couple little clips. You gotta get down in in there and pop that out. Same way on this one, pop this one out. Just like that. And we'll pull this. And you got some, like I said, right up here on top. go around get them clips there you go okay look you guys see it yet let me get a light on for you here you see the problem I can see it there it is right there now the rubber hose is not brittle I don't know why it came it came off of there but yeah, that's definitely going to run out. So, let's put this on here. The other one seems to be fine. I'm guessing that's the problem. Why that came off, I don't know. Usually, like I said, these hoses will get brittle. But this one's still rubbery. So I, I don't know what I don't know what caused it. But that's the problem. That's why she was had water running everywhere. So let's say 
let's put this back together and um, let's see if it's going to leak. fixed it then that'll be the easiest one I ever fixed like I said usually you can buy them hoses and stuff but each by the time you buy the hoses and you pay for shipping and the little clamps buy you another ten dollar thing be done with it coffee maker you know be done with it pretty confident that was the problem so I'm just going to go ahead and tighten these screws back up by the way happy new year everybody this is probably going to be the last video of 2018 new year to 2019 so this will be it's New Year's Eve here in Florida it is 6 17 p.m. so I got a little less than six hours left in this year all right guys I'm gonna pour some water in here and let's see what happens okay whoops let's see if anything leaks the actual uh, coffee pot itself so and sometimes also too guys these just crack with heat over time they'll just crack and they'll leak there but she said it was coming out the bottom she said it was running out so fast that she could pour it in it is not leaking now So I'm going to pause you guys for a second. We'll go over here and plug this thing in and we'll see what happens. See if it leaks. I'll be right back with you. Okay guys, there you have it. It's working like it's supposed to, no leaks. Now I figured out what, why that tube popped off of there. It's because that metal ring that went around the bottom, that burner, that was down underneath that part, that silver part that went around the bottom. It was had a clog in it. <coughs> Excuse me. So I poured a little vinegar in it, and it started foaming up a little. And I let it soak for a minute, and then blew it right out. So I think that's what was causing the the uh, hose to pop off. So. I forgot to hit record, I showed you what I did to clean it out, but like I said, I didn't hit the button on the camera, but there you go. So that's what it was doing. Now this is not coffee, I got I got tea in there because I did run some vinegar through it, and I'm just trying to get it all cleaned out now, so I thought I'd experiment with, uh, with some tea and make sure everything's going to work alright for so I think it's good now, it's all clear, everything's good to go. So there you go, that's... One thing to check, make sure your lines ain't clogged up, especially if you have hard water. We had hard water for a long time. When we first got this, we had hard water. And uh, no filter or anything. Now we got a filter, so everything's everything's uh, working like it's supposed to. So we're good to go there. So anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Let me get you turned around here. Thanks for watching. Have a happy new year. Like I said, this, this is probably going to be the last video of 2018. So, it's been a great year, guys. Let's keep it up. Let's have an even better year, 2019. All right, guys, again, uh, happy new year, and hope everyone has a safe and happy holiday. And uh, I'm going to get off here for now. So, 
I'm going to try to get myself well. So remember, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Bye-bye. Take care.